Hello and good morning. Just a quick visit today. I've just had to go to town to get some more paint materials for decorating the house. So I thought while I'm half tidy, I'll just show you what I've been up to. Mainly, I've been coming down first thing in the morning for an hour and then going back to get on with the painting. So I'll just show you what we've been up to. Now, if you can remember, my garlic was very badly attacked by the rust. So I cut the tops off quite heavy. And so it's made it quite difficult for me to plant them this year. So I put them in a, a tray this year. I'll show you what I've done. So all I've done is because I couldn't plant them, I've just laid them out in this tray. And I put a cover on the top to keep the dust off and I'll put them in the shed and we'll take them from here this year. There's one or two's got no top at all as you can see. That's the ones like that that we'll use first and then we'll keep the ones with the covers on just to they'll store a bit better. Some of them are quite good, a bit on the small side. Now, if you want to plant your garlic, I'll get Diane to put on in the drop-down box the video that we did platting. Unfortunately, this year it's not going to happen with these. The other thing is we're getting close now to September where we need to put next year's garlic in. Now, with me having bad rust on these garlics, I'm actually going to buy new bulbs for next year but that will be to follow i shall be looking in the evening in the next few days so i can get some ordered and get them here ready for planting let's go and have a look at these potatoes and onions i've been sorting out now we've popped down to the potato patch four quadrants of potatoes now there's been a lot of blight about this year. We have had no blight warnings. So I know there's no blight in the immediate area, but we've got like a, a brown spotting on the potatoes. I'll show you in a minute. Even the sapomira that don't get blight have got these spots on. Now I was getting a bit worried about these spots so I took the tops off these two quadrants here just to be on the safe side now those that have had blight will know that the blight has a distinct smell now when I was taking all these tops off etc I didn't pick up that blight smell and looking at these plants that are don't get blight, it's just a little bit of spotting on the leaves, so I'm still a little bit concerned that it's not blight. It could be overspray from the farmers. We just don't know, but I'll show you. These are the blight resistant ones, and as you see, there's some spotting on the leaves. There's nothing on the backs to, like the white circles that we know with blight and there's no, definitely no smell so I don't think it's blight as such it's something that's got hold of them but we'll see when we lift whether they're going to keep or not if you do get blight and you see it early take the tops off you might just save some of the potatoes underneath with this one I just don't know we'll wait and see and remember, if you do take the tops off, leave it a couple of weeks for the skins to harden. And then if they are good potatoes, they will store better. Now the onions had more or less all fallen over. You know, you must let them go down on their own. There may be half a dozen, perhaps a few more that hadn't fallen. But I think that was the fall of ones holding them up. So I've taken them up and I've laid them on the top. Luckily, the last three days has been fine for them. And I'm quite pleased 
with the crop I'll show you them as you can see the, there are some that are quite big some I'll show you the rejects in a moment but these are the the storable onions from that crop well, most of them were grown from seed this end line was grown from sets that we got free but the other three lines were all grown from seed I still think I'm going to grow from seed these were the usable rejects as you can see there's a few split but I'm sure there's a bit of onion in there to use the small ones we'll use anyway and there's another split one there look. now the others these are the ones that are a bit soft and, and got the white rot in them so that's what we lost four out of all those that's not so bad I think that one is more of a division than than white rot it still it feels quite firm but we'll reject them anyway but you can see where the white rot's taking the bottoms out four is not so bad now these will be stored some of them in the greenhouse and some of those in the shed I have a frame up in the greenhouse so we'll just take some down and show you tops are still a bit damp and soft so now's the best time to move them and it's a little bit congested in the end but the onions need to be where it's warm and dry so they can mature better and all I do look is I drop them through and just hang them on the on the top. The very very large ones go in the middle. So you can get quite a few in there. Let's just move those along. Don't worry about the dirt on them just yet. If you start trying to get it off you could damage the skins just let them I don't think that one will sit on there will it so we'll put these on there like that there are some no not quite I've got some large ones that will sit in the middle not these though my friend so there's half a dozen. I fill the whole of these racks up and leave them to dry and then we'll take them up and then we'll string them. But it's just a matter of time and try not to bash them about too much because they do bruise quite easy at this stage. Now Di says she wants a cauliflower for the weekend so while we're here we'll pick one. Now we've come to the cauliflower tunnel. Now I've had this heavy duty fleece on top to keep the sun from bleaching the heads a bit, bit. But we'll just show you what we've got. As you can see they've all sort of come together again. We'll just take two but as you can see there's quite a few nearly ready. We'll probably pick them one morning and die or see if she's got time to get them in the freezer we'll take these two at this end as you can see they're doing quite well I'll try and cut them off and lead the roots in because the ground is so dry they're, they'll be hard to pull out but I'll try first Oh, yes, we've got it, man. Oh. As you can see, it's a good collie. I can do. I'll just cut him off if I can.
There you are. I'll just trim the leaves. There you are then, that'll do nicely. There's a little tiny bit of damage there. I think that was a slug. Two pieces, look, but that's all there is. And that's a nice collie. We'll take another one. No, we'll have to cook it. That's another decent sized cauliflower. I'll just trim this one down. There you are then, two collies. Not so bad at all that one, as you can see the the sun's just beginning to get to them a little bit and colour them, but that'll be fine. That'll be it for now. I need to go up, get changed, have a cup of tea and get back on the paintbrush. It's going to be a long job I think, as long as the weather holds we'll be able to get on with it. So hopefully we'll see you again in a few more days. Do take care everyone. Bye now.